I've been asked a few times about sewing curves and curved areas of projects and so today's video is all about the curves and for the sake of demonstration I have cut out a few pieces two of them are basically half circle shapes and the other one is an inverted curve that they will be sewn to so for starters is to pen or not to pen some people will tell you that it is virtually impossible to pen a circle or curved area to sew it and others will tell you that you absolutely have to pen it and so today I'm going to try out both of these and see how it goes to pen line up the edge of one piece with the other right sides together and you have to kind of ease the fabric around and use a lot of pens when you do this um, I actually used a pen probably about every half inch to three quarter inch um, just because I needed to make sure that it was absolutely lined up the whole way around and to sew just take your time and remove the pens as you go For the second option, you would line up your pieces as before, right sides together at the corner, and go very slow and ease the circular piece around to line up with the inverted edge. Look who just came to join me. Oh, hello, baby. Hello. Mwah. So this first side is the one I pinned and it ended up with a few puckers in it and the second size was eased in as I sewed and it looks pretty good. Now both of these would obviously look better if I ironed them with a pressing ham but I don't have one of those and my iron was put away at the time so. Another thing that helps curves to look better is to clip them and there's um, two options with this. The first is to simply cut slits in the seam allowance. The more drastic the curve is, the closer your slits need to be. You can also clip small triangles out of the seam allowance and this helps things lay better and look nicer from the inside. So one last thing you can do is to open up the clipped seam allowance and sew a top stitch down both sides. This gives your project a nice finished look on the inside and the outside and adds a little extra detail with the top stitch. So I hope this video has helped you understand curves and how to work with them when you're sewing and don't forget to check out Whitney Sews on Facebook to see what me and the Whitney Sews viewers are up to and I will have a new tutorial up on Thursday so check back for that or subscribe and it'll go straight to your subscription box and I will see everyone then. Bye!